There's so much mud, yet they love the water. Excuse me. Look, guys. Breakfast. I'm sorry, little guy. You're gonna miss out. It's like, nope, I'm not. <laughs> It's almost time for breakfast, huh? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yeah? Hi, Donald. <laughs> this is the naughty pond. Uh, sometimes the girl just want to go in to take a bath and... <laughs> The boys think it's an invitation to make babies. It just not. It's just loud. Okay, okay, you're good. I'm gonna give you a little bit of food, okay? And then you can come out. Okay, this little guy was lame yesterday. Basically what it means is that they go super slow and they, I've noticed that he is missing some of his feathers, so I'm going to show you that. So there are two reasons why that could happen. Number one, it could be um, deficiency. Is it niacin? That's what they, they lack. Um, if you feed, you know, the layer, like chicken layer, feed to them, eventually they will start... Um, kind of going lame in their in their feet they will walk really really funny and then they'll walk a couple steps and they will stop so it could be a deficiency because for a couple of weeks I couldn't find any uh, duck pellet or it could be that he was fighting and uh, the other one was stronger than he is and so that's what happened this is one of the babies so of course he's a full grown now but um, in the back, over there where the curly feather is that uh, tells you that he is a male or a drake, he's missing a lot of feathers there. So what I did last night was separate him. That's why I think it's so important to have some kind of a space where you can separate either in your barn or dog carrier, wherever you have. Because if I keep him and the way that he was last night, um, you know with no strength in his legs then what happens is that the other ones that are healthy are just gonna run around run around him and end up either breaking his neck or something as he's staying on the ground so yeah it th and this happens okay it's not only a niacin deficiency it happens when they fight and they're sore they just go lame and that's what they need they need a night to rest usually a night does a trick so he slept by himself and now he's ready to join and we'll we'll see how fast he is at this point and if he's walking like you can see the other ducks are running and they're going from one side to the next I gave him a little bit of food over there so he could eat by himself if there is some kind of niacin deficiency give him some extra feed that is actually for ducks will help strengthen him and if by tonight he's not doing great um, then I'm gonna bring him some tuna because tuna is really high in vitamins that ducks need so that's gonna help him, I think, in another night maybe of rest to feel better. That's the mom. She's like, excuse me, son. If you have food, share it. That's his brother over there. They, they look alike, but this one has a yellow bill and that one has a gray bill. Oh, and he's walking. And he's being fast. So... I think that he just needed a day of rest and in between his wings and see he's he is a little wobbly still and 
Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell that he's a little bit wobbly. Look at the other ones walking. Oh, look at him. He's the only one with a gray bill of the boys. But he's walking more than two steps, so I'm gonna keep an eye on him today and then decide tonight if he needs to be separated. It's over there. <laughs> he needs to be separated, but as you can see, he's walking just fine. And those are the moms. Yeah. Girls gone wild for food. That's one of the boys, you can tell by his curly feather in the back. <clears throat> but our friend is walking a little bit slower, but he's, he's not kind of walking out. So, I'm assuming that the night of rest and being away from everyone that was bullying him because he was slow, it really is paying off. So very important to have somewhere where you can separate when you see that one of them is either being super slow or <coughs> there they go I'm like finally lots of clean water to make a mess with so we'll see by tonight if it needs to be separated or not uh, despite the fact that I have them on mold they are the best at creating mud and sometimes I forget the hose on that comes from the creek so let me put this away before they realize it's here oh they know now okay you can have a little bit more a little bit if you have your fair share and this kind of container for duck food is amazing because um, you can even put a couple of uh, bungee around, uh, but uh, mice cannot lift this. It's it's a little, you know, kind of, you have to push it in. So mice cannot get in here and cannot chew through it. So I have one for the dogs and one for rabbits food. So, yeah. And just in case, I'm gonna put this up here so they don't go in they'll make more of a mess than they already do but ducks um, unlike chickens they compact everything so it is very easy to make a mess especially with the water inside their house and in my experience they don't lay unless it's you know not soaking wet um, they kind of look for a drier spot to lay so what I typically do every morning is take this out to be washed and add more pine shavings every day not too much a few handfuls but it does make a difference and ducks love new bedding or at least the pine shavings they do as I'm putting them in so usually have to avoid them but not this time A little bit of pine shaving so they lay also they make lots of messes even if you try to keep it clean there's always something and I always leave this one door open just in case that they want to go back in the house they do go back inside the house during the day usually just to go through whatever bedding I put down just because a little crazy about that. You need clean water despite some people thinking that you know you just give them water and it doesn't matter how muddy it is they're gonna enjoy it uh, let me tell you they don't and as it starts to get muddy and disgusting they stop using it to bathe and other things so it's really important that they have clean water and in, despite the fact that that's a pretty small area to go swim and wash themselves Sometimes there's three of them in there, and they quite enjoy it, or they take time, or they take turns 
to go in and take a bath. So they can live very peacefully as long as they have water. They just enjoy taking baths. And especially as the water goes into the mud, this helps them, since they don't scratch, it helps them to go through the mud with their bills and able to find all kinds of little bugs that they love to eat. They're very happy in the mud. They're also very happy with clean water to use. I mean, you won't see these ducks happier than when they have lots of water. And during the summer and spring, they go into the creek and they spend most of their day over there. Uh, this year was a little bit more challenging because all these ducks were ducklings and we do have predator problems. So in this area where they are, we do have the cover of trees and it helps not to be taken away. There was one time as they were going out the fence and going to the creek um, that <clears throat> that we lost a couple of them. You see, even two and three can go in there. Okay? It's a thing. I'm telling you, they know how to share if they have clean water. So it's kind of staying away right now from everyone. But still doing good. Walking somewhat normally, but slower. And in case I haven't mentioned, ducks are loads of fun. They're super, super funny. Did you know that they can they can uh, sleep with one eye open and the other closed? Yeah, their brains are separated into sides, and they won't sleep with both eyes closed unless they feel safe in numbers. So there you go. Now you know. If you see a duck like this with one eye closed and the other one open. Don't think that she's sick, like I thought it was. Hi, girl. She's like one of the ducklings, and she's a duck, which means a female. There you can see, can you see that little curly thing going up? Ducks don't have those two curlies in the back. So that's how you can tell it's a boy. And this one too, which is our friend that's struggling, but you can see the curls in their backs or in their tails. And that that is lifted is where she's missing some feathers. Look at that one. That's another one of the girls. It's funny because she has the brown from one of the moms and then she has the gray of the other mom. So I wonder what happened over there. It's not like they can make children to together, right? But these are backyard ducks, which means there's different breeds in them. Look, that's how deep the water is. You can't even see their feet. Or turn off that hose though.